what's up guys welcome back today i'm going to be talking about the best mini fridge you can get probably ever not really sure where to start we're going to make this video pretty quick i just got a few things i want to go over um if you're in the market for a mini fridge and you're not really sure where to go amazon best buy target plenty of places to look for it now the thing i ran into is there's tons of different types of mini fridges and quite frankly it kind of depends on how much film you tend to hoard in the long run now i'm going to be honest with you i typically don't keep that much film on hand within retrospect depending on how much you think is that much but i've been in the market for a mini fridge for a while now and i've always kept my film in the freezer and in the fridge the thing about that is i've had to keep it next to the ketchup mayonnaise water sweet tea whatever you typically drink but uh, I guess the issue comes with always keeping it in the fridge next to all the condiments and everything or in the freezer next to, I don't know, popsicles or whatever you keep in your freezer, frozen green beans. Um, now, if you know anything about professional versus consumer grade film, which I don't plan on getting into today, when you get into professional film, they say it's to be cold stored because it's already processed to be shot at its optimal performing, I guess, emulsion within a certain date. Typically, it's a few years. Now, if you don't plan on shooting film in a few years, you probably want to refrigerate it. Now, if you shoot it, I guess, faster than a few years, then who cares? I typically shoot mine faster than a few years, but sometimes I just don't like letting it sit out. You know, extreme temperatures, hot, cold, just whatever. It's easier to keep it cold. So the mini fridge I have here is a Frigidaire. I got this bad boy from Target. It was gifted to me. It was under $50. And I forgot the actual cubic meters, I think is how they rate mini fridges, but this is considered a six can mini fridge. So it's really small. It's not meant to hold a lot at all, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Now, the reason I recommend this mini fridge is because look at it. This thing is so cool. I mean, it's red, it's vintage, has a little door handle over here at the bottom. It's just overall pretty rad. Now, I like it. Another reason I like it is because it holds roughly 30, 35 rolls of film. I think I have probably 28, 29 rolls of film in there right now, but I overall like it. Now, if you look inside, shows you how much film I currently have inside this mini fridge we have I mean I got it stored in there pretty good but there's some 120 film in there you guys see that it's like gold nowadays um, yeah I have a pretty good amount of film in there and it holds up really well it stays cold i think it gets about 28 degrees or it stays roughly 28 degrees and that's a pretty cool thing about the fridge too it doesn't get too cold but it also doesn't get it over a, an above temperature i guess you could say i mean maybe if you packed it really tight maybe it wouldn't be able to flow around really well in there but um yeah i do like it now as far as i guess sound it eh. Mini fridges are already loud depending on the size you get. And obviously there are way bigger mini fridges. If you look out there, there's like, like the wine ones or whatever, beer fridges or whatever. And those things are huge. Now, unless you have four, 500 rolls of film, I guess you don't really need a big fridge like that. Unless, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even have anywhere to put a big fridge like that. But this one kind of sits on my desk, sits on the countertop, takes up very little space. It makes very little noise. Now, don't get me wrong. It does make sound, obviously, anything makes sound, but it's not as loud as a typical mini fridge. Now, it does have a fan on the back. This one specifically can be operated through DC or AC. I'm not finna get into an electrician talk right now, but you can plug this into like a phone car charger and it'll work just the same. So if you happen to go out camping or something like that, I mean, I'd take the film out and probably put water or something in it, but you could take it on the road with you. Uh, I just keep it plugged into mine, my regular 120 outlet and it's good as day I mean, that's really all i have to say about it. i don't have to say a lot about the fridge i just kind of want to show it off you guys see the film that i have in it what i have here some portrait 400 and some elusive 400h which obviously you guys know the backstory behind that i got a couple pro packs right before they actually announced that it was being discontinued sad face obviously who doesn't love fuji 400h but that's neither here nor there. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. I know this is a really short vid, but I'm trying to keep some content coming for you guys. I do have a couple of videos in the work right now, and I will keep 
keep at it man like i said i appreciate all the support that i get from you guys if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so if you are subscribed you are doing everything that i need from you i appreciate the interaction the support um if you guys have any ideas or videos you guys want to see or if i could do a better job at anything let me know i appreciate it and until next time see you guys